This is a 2022 Pro Mount Can Am plow. And I'm putting drip cutters on. As you'll see, there were no videos on YouTube. This cup goes on the back side. That's the drip cutter. And that's just the plow and the drift cutter. Like I said, the rim goes on the back side. I put blocks so it doesn't dig into the paint so it doesn't rust. When you drill, drill your holes, the bolt heads go on the outside, the front face of the plow, like that would. clamped it on and I hit it over so it's all the way to the edge. The first hole I'm going to drill is this one. I'll tighten it up, snug it up, then I'll loosen this back up so it pulls that more when I tighten this up. Then I'll drill this hole, this hole. There's one more up here. There's one hole here that doesn't get used. And there's a washer, a spacer, on the instructions.brp.com, it's called a wedge that goes between the cutter and the plow face where the shoe goes through. When you put, put the bolts in, you put the washer so it doesn't cut into the powder coating of the plow so it doesn't rust and it has a nylock nut for the back side which goes back on the back side here of course i'm actually going to put another washer under that so it doesn't dig into that paint and make it rust out so i'll put a washer on that face these are harbor freight oil wrenches oil filter wrenches i think at the time they were like five dollars each but they have the jaw length that can go like that far to uh, clamp it on so you're not marring it up. I'll probably make another video when I have them both done. And you actually have to take the marker, the side markers off. They went through, you can't see it, I'm just going to point where it was, a hole here and they hang down. I don't know if the bolt hole in the the nut and bolt will interfere because there's a hole that has to be drilled up down here and it might interfere with this mounting spot for the side markers.